behind the headlines. Gross domestic product is the most widely used statistic to compare growth. But GDP only takes into account economic progress. So what other measures should we use to gauge a country's progress? Well, the Social Progress Index ranks countries using 52 different factors from access to running water to mortality rates. It also looks at opportunities such as access to higher education and the richest nations do not always come out on top. Costa Rica beats Italy in terms of social progress despite the fact that it's a tiny country. Michael Green is executive director of the Social Progress Imperative, which is behind the index. He's with me here in the studio. Hello to you. So what do we mean by social progress? So the Social Progress Index has been created as a complement to GDP. So GDP gives us a measure of our economic production, and then social progress gives us a holistic measure of how good our society is. How good our society is in terms of the real things that matter to real people. Which are what? So it's really three things. It's, does everyone have the basic needs of survival met? Does everyone have the building blocks of a better life? And does everyone have the opportunity to pursue their hopes and dreams without impediment? You know, I lived in the States for three years at a time when the economy had just gone through a bit of a dip. And everybody used this expression, more particularly Republicans, saying an incoming tide lifts all boats. What you're saying is that's not necessarily true. Well, what our data shows is that's not necessarily true. Because we can look at how social progress compares to GDP per capita. And what we find is that GDP isn't destiny. The countries can rip, underperform on their social progress relative to their GDP, like the United States, for example. So we've really found that if you want to improve the lives of your citizens, getting richer is not the only solution. Right, so how do you go about doing it? What sort of policies would push you up the index, the social progress index? So we have to look at why some countries overperform and others underperform. A country like Costa Rica that you mentioned is doing really well on social progress relative to its GDP. And that's because it's a country that's spent a long time investing in education, building a welfare system, really prioritising environmental protection. The United St States is doing relatively badly. Indeed, actually, on health and wellness, it ranks 68th in the world out of 133 countries. And think about how much the US spends on healthcare. And what that really is telling us about is there's something about the US healthcare system that's excluding too many people. And maybe there also there are some environmental factors like obesity and other things like that. Just very quickly, very, very quickly, might social progress deliver economic progress? We really think so, because a strong society is a great foundation for economic growth in the long term. Thank you so much.